Hello, hello. Welcome to a technique class. I haven't done one of these in so long and I'm like smiling all excited because I know so many of you have been requesting these. But today we're gonna go through some basic technique that you'll be able to do within kind of a smaller space if that's what you're working with. And it doesn't really matter what level you are because you can modify all this and also we're not doing anything incredibly advanced. This video does include a warm up. If you don't wanna do the warm up, of course you can just skip ahead. And then before every exercise, I am gonna take some time to explain what it is that we're doing, but I will put timestamps to just the exercises themselves. If you wanna just skip through my intros, I know there are some of you who don't need the explanation, or maybe you've done the video once already and you don't want the explanation the second time you do it, you can just click on through. So make sure you check those out. And without further ado, we are gonna start with a warm up. Okay, lovelies, we're gonna start with some reaches. So you're gonna reach your arm across, up four times, then side to side, four times, then down across your body four times. Back to the side, out, two, three. Let's try that again. So you reach across, try and make them really big, then side to side. Now down across. And side to side. All of that one more time. So starting up and across. Big reach, big reach. Side to side. Maybe even start to engage your core here a little bit. Side to side. Big plie. And stretch again. Big plie. And stretch. One more. Plie hold. Stay down, arms out to the side. Make sure your legs are wide enough. You're gonna twist back to center. So you're almost in a lunge position. Twist and center. Again, twist, trying to stay low. Center, twist. Now we twist, twist, straighten the front leg, back down, back to center. So twist, straighten just the front leg, back down to the center. Let's do that again, both sides. Twist, straighten the leg, bend and center. Give me a twist and straighten and bend. Back to center, straighten it up and shake out the shoulders. We're gonna roll them, alternate right and left. Keep rolling, starting to loosen up the muscles in your upper back. We're gonna do the same thing, but roll them forward. Now roll them back, but bring your elbows into it. Now add your full arm. We're gonna reverse that. So elbows forward, two, three, and four. Full arm around, two, three, four. We're gonna move into an inchworm. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Walking our hands all the way out to a plank, walking the feet in to meet them. I'm gonna turn and repeat the same thing on the other side. Here we go. I'm only turning around so that I have enough space. Otherwise, you could do this in a straight line. Here we go. Five, six, seven, go. Walk it out. Do a plank. Walk your feet in and up. I'm gonna turn and do the same thing again. Walk your hands out. You can do this at your own pace. Walk those feet in and up. Hands out. Try and reach an actual plank with your hips level. Then use those feet to walk in. Give me two more. Last one. Nice roll up. Let's warm up our feet a little bit. So you're gonna press ball the foot, point the toes, ball the foot and down. Other side, ball the foot, point, ball the foot 
and down. Again, keep switching. Point, ball, back down, and point. Do a little faster, so go ball. Point, and down. Point, really working through those toes. Keep going. Take one foot out, roll that ankle in a circle. Five, six, seven, now switch. Five, six, seven, eight, switch feet. Roll it the other way. All right, now that your ankles should be a little bit more mobile, we're gonna go into a squat and a twist. Squat, twist. So really trying to twist your whole body to the wall to be flat. And bring that knee up to your chest. Yes, this is our warm up, but it's a good opportunity to start getting all those muscles working so that later you don't have to think about it as much. Squat and twist, squat, twist, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do one more little thing. We're gonna start to warm up our hamstrings a little bit and do a bit of a, like a deadlift reach. If you're standing on one leg, you're gonna reach it forward, trying to get to a flat back, pulling it back in. Reach it out. Pull it back. Go ahead and join me whenever you're ready. And you can take this at your own speed or go with the music. Your goal is to get a flat back, kind of lengthen through that lower hamstring, start to wake up your glutes a little bit. We need two more on this side. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. Here we go. Whew, I'm getting warm for sure. You can keep that foot flexed or point it, whatever you like. Ooh, falling on this leg. Really gotta hold that core tight. Give me a couple more here. Maybe one more. And you're done. Shake it out. All right, warm up is all done. If you wanna do a little bit of stretch, you can do that on your own. But I always advise that you save your really long, deep stretches for the end of your training or after you've worked out. Once you've already done all of your physical activity that you need to do. So don't go and stretch for 30 minutes and then come back. Just do a light stretch, any kind of little problem areas that you might have or anything that you just feel like it needs a little bit of loosening, go ahead and do that and come back to the video. For our first exercise, you may want to hold on to something, whether that's a chair or the wall, just so you have a little extra support because it is gonna be testing your balance. We're gonna start in parallel. We're doing very slow elevates. You're gonna elevate for eight counts. So you have the full eight count to get to the top. So it'll be a nice slow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up by eight. And same thing on the way down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll do that twice, so eight counts up, eight counts down. Then you'll do the same thing, but for four counts. You'll go up for four, down for four again, and again. Then we'll drop it down to two counts each, and you'll do four of those. Up for two, down for two, up for two. And the, the idea with all of these is you have to take all of the music. Don't like hit this before the end of the eight count. You should be moving really slowly, gradually through that eleve until that final count and then the same thing on the way down. Don't just let your heels drop. We're working on our control here. Okay, so then you do four of the twos. Then you go single, 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 single eight times, okay? So you do two eights, two fours, four twos, 
eight singles. I know it sounds crazy, I'll be calling it out. But then we will also do the same thing in first position. Let's get started. Make sure that you keep all 10 toes on the floor the entire time. Your, your weight should be evenly distributed over both of your feet. And then also watch your ankles as you come up. Don't let your weight go over into your pinky toes so that your ankles look like this. And also don't bring them your weight too close in where your pinkies are popping off of the floor. Like I said, have all of your, your toes down on the floor and your weight evenly distributed through all of them. So you're going straight up and straight down. Let's try it. This music makes me wanna like go to a dance party. Here we go, starting with our feet parallel. Eight counts up, eight counts down. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, again, up. Try not to put too much of your weight on this, whatever you're using to balance. Now up for four. One, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, again, and down. Now two. One, two, one, two, two more. One, two, one, two singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out. We're gonna go with first position, same thing. Five, six, five, six, seven, up for eight. Try and keep those heels rotated forward and those legs nice and straight. Six. Seven, up eight, now we're down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, again we go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, hit it on eight, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing these slower than we did the other ones. One, two, three, hit four, down, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four, and down. That's my mistake. I do this when I teach this in class all the time, too. Up for two, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, again, up, two, down, two, one more, two, down. Now singles, we go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Finish, I know I messed that one up, so that hurt a little bit extra in the first position. Make sure you stretch out your calves. All right, we're gonna do quarter turns, half turns, and single turns, an exercise that I know I've done on my channel before, and maybe a lot of you have done as well. But you're gonna tendu, go to a jazz prep, and then balance, bring it down. Then you'll tendu, prepare, do a quarter turn. So you're turning one quarter of the way just to whatever your next wall is and down. And you'll keep doing that all the way around. So this one will take you to the back. Then you'll go to the side and up. Then to the front and up. Then you'll do a half turn, which means you're gonna turn to face the back wall. Half a turn and down. Same thing again, but turn to the front. The aim in all of these is to do better than what I just did. You're supposed to hold that balance for as long as you possibly can before moving into the next quarter or half turn. Um, after we do the two halves, we will also do two single turns. So all the way around two times. I also want you to focus on getting from that prep to your passe as quickly as you can and make sure that you're not sickling your foot in passe. So keeping the heel and the big toe attached to the side of the knee. Don't let that heel start coming out and popping out to the side. Keep it all glued there. So you're going from your prep, straight up and holding as long as you can till the next one. Let's do it. This one feels kind of like an island. Here we go. Five, six, seven, tendu. Prep, balance to the front. Now quarter turn. Hold and side to the back, another quarter, hold, 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 one more quarter, now half turn, face the back, and up, face the front, 
and give me a single turn around another single around good let's do the other side take a second adjust your brain Whew. here we go five six five six seven time do prep balance hold now a quarter turn and up another quarter fight for that balance and up to the front up half turn face the back half turn again and up Ooh, single turn another single good relax next up depending on how much space you have you could do these straight across the floor or you could do like me and go back and forth so you're gonna go slide down pada boo ready to prep then a turn shoot it out to a second position and then i'm gonna go the opposite way so i slide down i go back side front to prep then i do a turn the other direction and notice I'm shooting it out to this little second position releve when I finish. The reason I like finishing turns like this, because it tells me out of my turn, if I'm leaning forward, if I'm leaning back, and like what adjustments I might need to make to my turn so that I'll be able to do more turns. Okay, so the feet for this little pas de bourre, the way it goes is you slide down, then you bring your foot back, open side, prep. And the other way would look like this, down, bring it back, side, prep front. And then you turn, of course. So we're gonna do eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means four turns on each side. It's up to you what actual turn you want to do. If you wanna do just a balance, if you wanna try singles, doubles, triples, however many you wanna go for with the amount of time that we have. Five, six, Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, turn, and out. Again, two, three, four, turn. Keep going. Up around. That's four. We're halfway. Keep going. I might just do singles. I'm not feeling this. This floor is hard to turn on, to be honest. We have one more on each side. Ooh, last one. Good, finish. All right, let's do some, it's kind of like a little rond de jambe combo, but just from first position. You're gonna start with a rond de jambe on the floor. So you're going front, carry it side, bring it to the back, close in first. Then you're gonna bring it a little higher off the floor. Front, open side, carry it back. Close it first. Then you're gonna bring it all the way up to 90. Front, and let's go ahead and have our arms out. Carry side, bring it back. Close first, plie, releve, plie. Start again, same leg, but you're gonna go from the back first. So you'll tendu. Open, front, close. Off the floor, open, front, then all the way up, back, side. Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Let me do that better. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it to close in. So what we're gonna think about as we do this is using our rotation, using our rotator muscles, which are deep down here under your booty muscles. And you wanna keep that leg turned out the whole way around. So rather than going here and then letting it start to turn in, you wanna keep that heel pressing forward, as you bring it around and as you bring it around to the back. It's gonna get even harder as you start to bring the leg off of the floor because you're gonna be having to use a little bit of your hip flexor muscles as well. Really fight for it. If you wanna hold on to something, feel free to, but I'm gonna have my arms out here to the side. Also, make sure you point your feet really hard as you do these. Goes without saying, but I'm here looking at my feet like, oh, make sure you point those, girl. Okay, it's like a medium speed. Let me mark it out for you. There goes front, open side, open back, close in. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Let's try it. Arms nice and strong, back is tall, core is tight, and that standing leg should be really straight as well. Don't just think about this one, you gotta think about both of them. Here we go, from first. I'm gonna bring my arms up. Five, six, seven, eight. On the floor, bring it front, open side, bring it back, close first. Little higher, off the floor, open side, bring it back. Now a little higher to 90, and open, and back, and first. Little releve, up. Now reverse it, same leg, on the floor back, bring it side, bring it front, close it, it off the floor, back, side, front, and close. A little higher, side, front, and first, plie, other side, starting to the front, six, seven, bring it front, carry side, back, and close, off the floor. Carry side, back, close it in. Little higher, back, plie releve. Again, starting to the back. Back, open side, bring it front and close. Little higher, and higher. Plie releve, we gotta do it all again on the other side. You got it. Five, six, seven, and tendu. Rond de jambe. Maybe try and get the leg a little bit higher this time. Fresh, open, carry back, close it in. Higher. Plie releve, starting to the back. Same leg. Five, six, seven, on the floor. Bring it through. A little higher. And highest. Ooh, this is so hard. Plie releve. Other side, and it's our last time. Five, six, seven. On the floor. Close through. A little higher. Now highest. My feet just won't point today. They're kind of cold. Plie, releve. Reverse it all. It's our last time. Make it the best. Stand the tallest. And brush through. A little higher. Highest. Plie, releve, finish, very nice. Okay, a little bit more for our legs. We're gonna do these coming forward, forward and back. So hopefully you have space front to back. Starting, keeping our leg at a 45. So you're gonna step, brush, kick, just to 45. Three, four, try to get eight of them in. Five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're gonna go backwards doing little arabesque. Step, arabesque, step, arabesque, all the way back, same thing, eight of them. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll come back forward, doing the same thing, but you're gonna brush that leg higher, so to 90. Yeah, let's keep it at 90 for these ones. Eight of them, and then eight arabesque to 90, going backward, and then we'll come forward one last time, and you can kick that leg as high as you want it, 90 or higher, or not even 90, up to you. Same thing with that arabesque back. Just watch the arabesque back. Well, arabesque is always back. I don't know why I'm saying that, but make sure that we're not going and bringing our chest all the way forward. You wanna try and keep that chest lifted and stand as tall as you can and let that leg go up without compensating too much with that spine. Now, of course, some people are gonna need to reach a little bit forward to get that leg higher, just based on the flexibility and the strength of your back. But your goal should be to keep the chest as upright as possible. We're not doing like a ponche. <laughs> Sorry, everything is cracking because it's early in the morning. I also want you to be careful as you come forward, 
that your hips stay in one line. You're not letting one hip come up like this. And also watch your, your supporting leg that you're not letting it bend as you kick. Should stay nice and straight. I'm gonna start all the way back here. Five, six, just to 45. Here we go. Step up, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now reverse it, arabesque. Coming forward, 90. Arabesque. Hopefully I don't kick my counter. Now forward. Back. And finish. All right, let's get those legs moving up in the air some more. You're gonna go from first position, drawing your right foot up through coupe, through passe, attitude front, and extend and close, develop it. Then you do the same thing side, bringing it up, extend, tendu, and close. Same thing to the back. So we're doing this en croix, front side back, and side again, one more. Open side, close, repeat on the left. That's all it is. Front side, back side, develop haze. Just because I say that's all it is doesn't mean it's easy, right? We gotta make sure that supporting leg stays really nice and strong and turned out. That this working leg also is working to maintain turnout and to stretch up from the knee. What I mean by that is wherever your knee goes, so let's say bring my knee right here and I bring this leg up to this little attitude, my toe is aiming to go up to where that knee is, not down towards the floor. So your knee dictates how high your leg is gonna go. This is going to feel difficult on your hip flexors, probably. You're gonna feel it in the front of your leg and your hips, and that's totally okay. Those are the muscles that you need to be using and working to get your leg in the air. Don't let dance teachers scare you and say, don't grip your hips or use your quads. You have to use them. So we're gonna do that whole thing twice. Right, left, right, left. From first position, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it coupe, two, three, and four. Again, to the side, two, three, and four. To the back, up, through attitude, to the side. Other side, coupe, attitude, extend. And coupe, bring it through to the back. And out to the side again. Other side, try and get your leg a little higher or a little straighter or a little more turned out. To the side, one last time. Other foot. Extend and close. Bring it up. Extend and close. Back. Extend and side. Finish. All right, one more little leg exercise. These are our fan kicks. I know a lot of you have asked for help on your calypsos. And when you do a calypso, you're basically doing a fan into the jump. And so this will hopefully help you with those. But even if that's not what you want, um, this is still a very good exercise for your control. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step. Ball, change, fan. I'm gonna bring my arms up above my head. Then I go step, tendu, go to the other side. Then I will ball change this way, brush, step, tendu. Keep going, so you go right, left, and a brush, step, tendu, then a left, right, brush the left, tendu. 
And we'll keep going. I think we'll do eight on each leg. So a total of 16. And as you do these, you wanna be sure that you're not letting your body hunch over like this as you bring the leg up. This is purely leg strength. So if your leg isn't going very high, that's okay. It just means your legs need to get stronger. But you collapsing your chest forward is not gonna make your leg go higher or look higher. I am gonna be bending my supporting leg as I do my fan. You can keep it straight if you want. It's really up to you. Let's just do it and let's get this done with. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. Ball, change, fan, step. Tondu again, other side. Keep going. I don't know what we're at, guys. I lost count. Let's just do two more. Last one. And finish. All right, lovelies, I hope you enjoyed this little bitty bit of technique. Let me know what else you want to see in the future, what you want me to focus on, specific exercises or things you want to be able to do. And if you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and make sure that you're following me on Instagram and TikTok because I do post tips and tricks and little like workouts and stuff over there. So that's what happens in between YouTube uploads. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to have you back for my next video. Bye.